Spider-Man 2 throws you straight into the game, and there are some things that you just wish they drew out for you. Here are a bunch of things I wish the game just spelled out for me and my low 2 IQ brain. Let's get into it. A hard not life. So have you ever just wanted to make the game as real as possible and see if you could be a superhero but with only one life? Well, this is as close as you're going to get. You can add fall damage. Why would you want to do this? I, I, I'm not here to judge. I'm not your mother. Well, for the challenge, of course. But I mean, how many times have you watched a Marvel movie and said, um, nah, you should have died. <laughs> well, here's your chance to test that out. How good are you at web swinging in Spider-Man 2? Find out by jumping into your settings and turning on fall damage. Good luck. Swinging adjustments. Bouncing straight off that last tip, you can actually completely adjust the web swinging in this game to make it feel more like the older Spider games in the series. I mean, a lot of those were hella floaty for me, so I don't really know if I want to go back to that mechanic because I love the way it feels in this game, but I mean, if you just want to make this more difficult for yourself and see how talented you could be as a Spider-Man, then sure, why not? Knock yourself out. But if you jump into the settings, you can really change the way you play this game in general and risk it all for a matter of uh, talent at timing and web swinging and a challenge. Yeah, good luck. Spidey team ups. So the game doesn't really tell you this at all and it's not necessarily random either if you've recently met a couple of the allies in the game and started some side quests then you might have encountered special npcs that will actually team up with you while you're doing crimes and fighting within the city and or you might have just found yourself fighting alongside the other spider-man in the game yes this is an actual thing if you recently switched your character and they're still in the area and you go to a local crime randomly you may be able to encounter the other spider-man and or the other npcs that'll fight alongside you and this is key to getting some extra bonus experience so milk it as much as you can you can also switch your character by interacting with a bag on a rooftop just just if you didn't know slingshot rooftops so have you ever been struggling to get around in spider-man 2 well those days are over why because you should just look for this slingshot icon on the map travel to the top of that rooftop and launch yourself off from this location in any direction and you're good to go this is the easiest way to traverse the entire game with ease make sure you seek out all the wind tunnels as you are gliding through the air with your wingsuit so that you can continue your momentum and of course, it's always a great idea to snatch up that wingsuit and fly your way across the rivers in the game rather than trying to web swing your way over there because it's just easier. I mean, at the end of the day, you could just get the fast travel for every district that is near the water. So you never have to go through this problem again. But hey, these are the things that the game doesn't bother telling you, right? Don't skip side quests. So I've already kind of mentioned this in an earlier tip, but certain NPCs in this game will actually join you throughout the adventure in the game. And that is so clutch to helping you getting some extra XP when you're out there farming those crimes. So it's a good idea not to skip out on these side quests because you'll be just missing out on some of the coolest interactions and team ups that the game has to offer, as well as there's some incredible suits that you really want to get your hands on and the only way to really get into it is if you're doing a side quest so why miss out that fomo is going to be real trust me web zipping and sealing spiders so you might not have noticed this but the game doesn't necessarily tell you when you can web zip and that's because you could do it anywhere at any time at any place just pulling back on the l2 and r2 button like it's just that easy when you pull back on the L2 and R2, you're going to automatically go into a slow motion camera and at that point, your marker is going to be white. When you see a surface that you're allowed to web zip to, it'll turn green. Tap the R2 button and boom, you fly over to that area with ease. 
you can actually web zip onto the rooftops and ceilings. So try using this in different scenarios and situations to make sure that you're always getting in the proper position to take out all of your enemies. And of course, when you're hanging from the ceiling, you can actually click the L2 button, hang from the ceiling, and then snatch up your enemies using the square and or just go and tackle them using the triangle button. So try mixing it up a little bit so that you can take out all the baddies in the area so it makes your experience a little bit easier and not too devastatingly hard for no reason. <laughs> You can also perch by just tapping the L3. So yeah, this game does a great job of teaching us these things. Let me tell you. Skills you gotta grab. Make sure you grab the resupply skill. This skill is clutch and it's kind of hard to understand what this skill is trying to explain to you. But the easiest way to explain it is that every time you perform a combo, you have a percentage or a chance to get a free gadget use. That's just amazing. Like, can you imagine you infinitely run combos and you infinitely get free gadgets like throughout the entire encounter? It just made it that much easier. Why miss out on this? You can also continue this upgrade path by looking into your skills tab. You can upgrade how much focus you do as well with the more combos that you do. In the future, I am going to be putting out an in-depth combat guide. So if you don't want to miss out on that, make sure you smash that like button and sub to the channel so that you don't miss out on more Spider-Man 2 content right here. But we're not done yet. Let's keep it moving. Another tip that the game just bothers, just doesn't bother to actually explain is if you have been traveling around the map and you want to find all the little tech and rare tech parts that are laid all over the place, you can actually just jump into your suit tech tab, drop down into the traversal area, and boom, right here towards the end, you have the ability, yes, the ability to actually highlight all of these locations on the map. That could come in clutch, especially when you're trying to farm and max out some of those suits and just, you know, get everything you want in the game. Some more things the game doesn't really bother teaching you is that you can create a web line practically anywhere hold down on the l2 button and then just slap triangle and boom you create your own zip line anywhere you want and this is coming in so clutch you don't have to do this in a building you could do it anywhere in the world <laughs> like it's insane so try using a zip line everywhere that you get a chance to so that you can have a better advantage in a lot of these encounters in the game Another thing that you definitely really want to start using and the game doesn't necessarily talk to you too much about is Miles' ability to camouflage. Like, you could just tap up on the D-pad and he just goes invisible. Use this a lot because there's going to be so many different situations where Miles coming in camouflage, wiping out all the enemies in the area is too much to miss out on. And that is a whole bunch of secrets, tips, and tricks that this game just uh, decided to leave us out of the loop on. If you like what we do here in the channel, make sure you smash that like button. And sub to the channel so that you don't miss any more tips, tricks, guides for Spider-Man 2 like this one. This was your boy Adam of MCCHD. For now, I'm out of here.